as we enter into what we call holidays, Christmas, I like to call it payday, all these different holidays. Really, we're in a loop of giving what we earn right back. It's a lot of beautiful things I enjoy and take out of it, like um, things they can't take away. I enjoy the cool weather coming in. It's really not the day that's important because really what day is it and what year is it and what month is it? When you look up the etymology on these words, November, November means nine. Deck, December means 10. So a lot of you already know about the calendar situation, but I've been thinking the song that we grew to know so much about Santa. Maybe there's a AI aspect to that, huh? Sounds like censorship. Sounds like Minority Report. The beast computer, the one that knows everything about you. Light is breaking the cipher, selling their souls, they know what the price is Hot and cold, they know what the ice is, the ones with the answers creating the crisis Genetically modified DNA splicing, killing us slow, but you still can't see them ill with the heat The waves awaken, the sheep has shaken, graves awaken when I speak Airtight, no leak in my faucet, can't see the signs and the symbols are lost Real quick, just wanted to thank everyone for tuning in if you haven't already watched The Sorcerers of the Hidden Hand, part one, two, and three, stop. Please stop here and go watch those first. And then we'll meet back here because there's a lot that I show in those other videos. A lot of decodes that are key. Just when we think we have a savior, another one steps forward. He's not the savior. In my humble opinion, they're given the Jesus storyline and using Kanye as an MK Ultra mind control. Not victim. I don't know. We wouldn't use that word. These these people are part of the game. They know what's going on. And they're willing. And even if they're not, take you out and clone you. The clone will be willing. Now, I don't know how the world's so easily gullible. Still, when they give you an artist or actor, whatever it is, and they step forward and act like they're against the system now. Just like an agent undercover, whole, whole new identity, same person. They do that over and over. You keep falling for it. You're already looking for your puzzle pieces. And so you, you you already know what fits in and what doesn't when you hear it, when you see it. So I'm just going to show you a couple more things, adding in how very clear it is, at least to me, that Kanye West is just playing a role. He's an actor at the end of the day. Just like a lot of other artists, and Kid Cudi's one of them. I'm not sure if that's still his or her real name. So many references. His whole persona is based around the moon, the moon man, all the album covers. He's going to the moon. Speaking the hidden language, speaking the hidden language there. Again, most of these families are connected to military industrial complex and a lot of the people that are presented the young artists are actually tied in back to it there's another song kanye west song called 24 now is that another reference to jesus 
because in alchemy, the symbol that they're showing us for Jupiter very clearly also looks like a number 24. Maybe referring to the year 2024. Side note, it's interesting. In alchemy, Jupiter is 10. And it has the word 10 in it, like Satan. I mentioned before, the similar resemblance when you play the law of reversal with these alchemical symbols flipping Jupiter upside down. It's not exactly the same, but looks very close to Saturn's symbol in alchemy and in the zodiac. Then in religion, they give us that same symbol and they use it reverse. Jesus is the cross right side up. Jupiter. And then Satan is the cross upside down. But again, in alchemy, Saturn is lead. That's the cross right side up. And Jupiter, 10, is the cross upside down. The line he says 24 three times but as i was reading the lyrics you could obviously see two plus four two plus four two plus four so is he just throwing a six 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 right out there for us i mean that's kind of what these wizards like to do so that's how i look at things what's the odds that kanye is his real name when the etymology on the word khan basically means to sing to be a singer bring forth come on it's a stage name and then obviously we know Yi, he's going by that now. They changed his ego again. And like I said, they got him portraying Jesus. Look at some of the covers they show us with him. Let me guess, coincidence? They got him wearing the crown of thorns, which you already know. Jesus wears the crown of thorns. And who else does? Satan. The thorns, the horns. Look at the first century Zeus, Greek god. Zeus liked little boys. Guess after a certain amount of time, they decided to hide the horns. Got him over and over again with the crown of thorns. And think about it too, this is not just his artwork on an album cover. This is their magazines promoting that image for you. Because, like I said, they're playing out a storyline. I know you can see it. Kanye, Yee, he used to call himself Yeezus. If you ever heard of him, even if you don't listen to it, you know that's what he calls himself. Oddly enough, because I have listened to some, especially his older stuff, and uh, he was dropping little truth bombs here and there. One of his lines that always stuck with me is he says, uh, he says things like, they're rewriting history. I don't believe in yesterday, which is one of the realest lines a mainstream artist can say. You can almost side with the fact that he is against the system. But if you look at all of the evidence and the symbology. And... It's all WWE. Again, it's all mind warfare. Just like WWE or WWF, I was a little kid noticing that they'll turn a good guy bad and back and forth over and over again. And then for some reason, I was noticing how easy it was to do it. All they have to do is make him do a hero move and bam, just like that, he's back on everyone's good side now he's getting cheered on and not <laughs> probably spit at and water bottles thrown at him and that's a whole nother thing i kind of want to talk about eventually is the wwe and the fact that the mcmahon's tie into the military industrial complex for another day though Look at this. 
ridiculous. Nah. Nothing to see here. They're not portraying him as Jesus. And now, uh, maybe one's question would say, like, all right, well, maybe he's just portraying it as himself because he's being prosecuted by the system. Mm. How they follow the Bible and how they're living it out as a storyline, a script, sure. If you can't see it now, I don't, I don't know if you, you'll be able to. This is not direct to really anyone that <laughs> is listening, most likely. This is just in general for, you know, all the people that somehow just still can't connect the dots. I know a lot of anyone watching videos like this are well aware of what's going on to even be able to sit through a video like this. I think every scenario that we see with Kanye West is set up, controlled. Remember the time he supposedly, you know, spoke out about Jay-Z live on stage and then they threw him in a sane asylum and then, next time you see him, his hair is blonde. Now remember, you might have already connected it somewhere else, but my other sorcerer videos I show you, that's one of their key tags, basically, they put on these artists or Hollywood stars to let you know that they're under MK Ultra Mind Control and let you know that they're a part of the plan. They've sold out they sold who they are you think all these artists has nothing to do with color they all do it they all just like bleach blonde hair like I said in a previous video I went through a list of quite a few of them and this is just a, one of their little signals to let you know that they're under control it's so actually harder to think about an artist that doesn't do the bleach blonde hair. There's there's something to that. But yeah, going back real quick to the Crown of Thorns image. He's not the first one. There's a lot of album covers, I'm sure you guys know, that have the Crown of Thorns symbolism on it. Not as fact. Here's one here. So them using the same story, just like in the mythologies and all over the world, different names for the mythological deities in there. Same deities they're talking about throughout the different cultures. It's the same thing that applies here. They're using the same storylines over and over. And they're using the artist and Hollywood and everyone in front of us to play it out. Just got to think deeper on it as far as if they, I mean, one of the ways to know if he's the real deal or not is if, sadly to say, is if they take him out. It's always a story because when they get to a certain level and they're saying certain things, you got to know that they're compromised if they able to stay alive and say these type of things it's all planned out and they're not going to go too far out of character they're not going to really expose anything and the word j-e-w that's used as an umbrella term it's very highly annoying that it's an umbrella term that they purposely used to hide who the true powers really are To give it to him, though, that's it's a pretty brilliant idea to stay hidden is to have a control the world with terms, words and terms and words and terms you can say and cannot say. Or you get categorized for being an anti this or a denier of this. 
the ones that say they're J.E.W.s but they're not in the real synagogue of Satan. That's the that's what who we're talking about. And I show a perfect example in another video where one of the papal bloodlines, one of the banking nobility dynasties that have always controlled this place. reason I'm telling you that is that's an example how I say these bloodlines have interbred with powers all over the place all over the world so every leader they present us is rooted to these bloodlines they don't have to have white skin but that's why I call this series sorcerers of the hidden hand because they are the front faces the magicians the jesters Gangsters, G stars, G's that they present in front of us to play it all out. The Cabal's way of hiding words. Khan basically means, the etymology on Khan basically means to sing. So what's the odds, you know? <laughs> and uh, the Gematria on just Kanye, not his whole name, just Kanye, Hebrew, comes out to 456, and all the other 456s, things that are other names that are attached to Kanye, Alexander, Cindy, a message from God, Bobby, Body, Kenya, Restart God's algorithm Tesla time machine Wow Masonic Messiah Reptilian brain The demon of pride Interesting Biggest ego we've seen On the big screen Next to his good buddy Trump, right? Just friends, just friends, and uh, he's a good man. Well, he's been doing well. A long time. We've been friends for a long time. Life. We discussed it. How do you think that's something you still want to do in life with me? So I'm not trying to repeat myself over and over because I talk about Elon and deciphering his name and codes and terms and symbols that he uses in all his companies. Because I was showing you last time in the other Sorcerer's video that, you know, Elon's a word scramble. You could make just like any word, a lot of different words, but with him and all these characters, nothing's random. So Elon backwards is Noel, N-O-L-E, or the head. You could also mix it up and you get Lone, like Lone Star State, where he lives. But also, look what it is right here in etymology. Because the word Elon's not in this basic etymology finder right here, or this etymology dictionary. But when you type in Elon, I don't know why I never even thought of that being the root word of Elon, but elongate. To make longer, to prolong, protract, Remove to distance. Elongation is a term 
apparently they use in astronomy. Angular distance of a planet from the sun as it appears from the earth. That's 15th century. Extension, spreading, medieval Latin, elongationum. To remove to a distance. Latin. X out. SpaceX. So not only that was strategically picked for his name. His middle name is Reeve, R-E-E-V-E. -E. Etymology on this makes sense why they chose that for him also. King officer, an Anglo-Saxon, high rank. And it is connected to a German word right here, Margrave, Mars. It's a German title equivalent to a count or an earl. It goes all the way back from the time of Charlemagne, military governor, literally means count of the border. High German, Margravo, it's a count. And then the other root word in there obviously is Mark, the Mark. Showed this already in the past, but again, Neuralink is nothing new. There's a movie in the 80s called Saturn 3 where they're putting Neuralink chips in them. They're all actors. They want you to choose a side red, blue, left brain, right brain. So if you choose a side, they got you either way. So of course, Elon had to be mentioned again in this video. He's the Tony Stark, he's the hero they're presenting. Bought Twitter because he cares about your speech. The first thing that they're doing is banning everyone on there. It's just a game, man. Project Bluebird, Twitter is the Bluebird. They're definitely buying time is what they're doing. And again, Elon mixed in with these musicians and the coagula, the handlers coagulating their mind, works hand in hand, mind control. Just like that movie, Get Out. They're literally showing you how it works to an extent. Some of these CIA missions where they're learning what happens to the brain on psychedelics. They've been studying our minds for the longest time. And the fact that the military could program troops to be trained killers. And they could tell them who their enemy is and they don't even find out until it's over and they're gone out of the military. Then it all creeps back up on what they've done. You already know the medical industry would capitalize on that. Call it PTSD. What I'm getting at is the programming behind that. You can program someone that's fully conscious and has their own thoughts and beliefs. And a couple days or a month in the military and they break you down. And they make you believe what they tell you to believe. And you can't question anything. So if they could do that type of mind programming... Imagine what they could really do on the bigger scale. Again, they're not promising these artists hell for signing this contract to promote the agenda and be in the circle. They're promising them immortality to be uploaded when it's all said and done. Saving them into the cloud, you know? Where have we heard that before? For a lot of them though, there's not gonna be any saving or uploading or living forever. They're just using them as jesters and then sacrifices.
We won the war. A lost planet. Left it contaminated. Most of it uninhabitable. What remained of humanity had to leave the Earth. We built the Tet. Our mission control. A temporary space station before the migration to Titan. Saturn's largest moon. Everyone's there now. You find that a little funny that they can promote things like this, um, music culture for kids and for all to listen, the world to see. But one of us, we could throw a banana peel out the window or have an argument with someone at a grocery store and you probably have five officers come and They'd lock you up for a while, just for something like that. Yeah, this is this is all psyop stuff we're watching here. So, what would a parasite do, or as we know it, aliens? What would they do if they were to come to a world and take over? Well, they would explore all the lands that we can't get to, create governments, make laws that you can't go to those lands. They would study every creature on earth, dissect all living or non-living things on earth, tag everything and see life. Study every living thing for what they call research. Splice and genetically modify all life. Set up soul farms. They would control and change, manipulate DNA through sickness and cures. A parasite would enter our body, mind, without us knowing it, just like it does. It would use signs and symbols in all business to communicate through the symbols. The symbols hold energy, symbols or sigils. It's part of the programming when we're talking matrix or computer. If we look at the Bible, which they're definitely living it out as we speak, now they say the 12 tribes of Israel. And these are families that are seated right to the serpent. So if you look up the etymology on Lucifer, some of these you're already gonna know right off the top. The morning star, Old English means Satan. Venus, the morning star. Also the name of Diana. Morning Star, Lightbringer, Lux, Light, Luke. I think uh, Jordan Maxwell was the first one I heard him break down Luke Skywalker. The sun walking across the sky, the 12 steps. And if you watch my other videos and done research on these black nobility names, and my videos, the other sorcerer videos, where I show you how the Orsinis, they hide in the Vatican. They're one of the main powers, if not the very top. I think there's just a few that sit on the very top. I don't think it's one of those few families. It's a small round table. I'll show you how there's a marriage, obviously, between Rosenbergs and Orsini. So there's Orsini Rosenberg, so that tells you right off the bat that they go under, they use the name Berg. But I show you several examples all over the world in high level government where they're, and Hollywood, where they're, they got the word Berg, the Pope. 
the guy that runs NATO, couple in Hollywood. I, you got to watch some other videos to see that. So something through reading the other day, I realized even deeper is through the etymology of the words they're using for their names, they're literally letting you know that they come from those families. Look at this. So right after Luke, to carry, bear, from Pi root, bear, B-H-E-R. I thought that was interesting because Orsini means little bear. But when I see this, B-H-E-R, to bear, they're referring to light. So what they're really telling you, little bear, it's not bear, like an animal bear, as far as what Orsini means. It's referring to bear, like bear light, to let you know that they're tied in through blood. They would give us a boogeyman when really they look just like us. They would lay out the agenda through TV, through TV, movies, tell us things like 99% of all life is extinct and there could be a little truth in that and it's most likely because of them, they're the exterminators where they could take form like us, they would give us the alien ships and it's really Saturn symbolism they're showing us. And in alchemy, it's the A and O, which you'll see everywhere if you're conscious of the symbol together that I'm showing you. The A and O, the A and O is alchemical process. They're showing us alchemical symbols. And they give that to us in movies, shows, all corporation, business world, all the top companies. Also, Alpha and Omega, of course. If you really pay attention like I do, you'll see they're feeding us that AO symbolism times thousands. It's all a over the place. For atom, atom stands for power. It's almost making me think it's a big event that they're referring to in that symbolism exactly what you would assume an alien or the parasites from the other side would do is exactly what's happening here and again they look just like us a lot are starting to think they're connected to a hive mind that makes sense to me now am i saying like alien looking life forms don't exist i don't know but again i know alistair crowley's the one that drew the gray aliens that they ended up giving us later on they say the archon controls us from somewhere else and they control us through light through the tv extra territory is probably not too far away and i had another thought the other day that kind of sinks in to you know, us living inside realms. Something that a lot of people that have taken, you know, a DMT trip, they all have in common is just thought about like a DMT trip. They're suddenly in a different realm. Well, how would that be happening in space with planets? Ask yourself that. Where are you going? Where are you? Where's your mind going on a DMT ayahuasca or acid or mushroom trip? If we're in space with planets, that's not what's happening. Everything's all around us, the way the realms are set up. And we have a governor on our brain, a governor on our sight. But that literally takes the blinders off, opens up the antenna, 
And that's why we can hear voices in other realms and even see beings in other realms. The veil is somewhat lifted and your mind is able, just like a pole star, pole star, the light at that point is strong enough to penetrate right through the ethereal realm through the ether and that connects and goes hand in hand with simulation still what do we do with our computer plug in an ethernet cable and the ones they call crazy or mentally insane I don't know if you would call it a gift or a curse that they're able in my opinion, to hear multiple dimensions. There's a lot going on at all times. It'd be equivalent to being on a constant DMT trip, you know, depending on the level of it, for one's whole life. And we're just calling them crazy. But really, but really, they have institutions for them so they can study them and get inside their minds and also push the MEDs on them looks like it pretty much happened to Hitler you ever see those videos of him at the games <laughs> perfect example of getting high on your own supply the mad scientist geneticist what I was getting at with it is when you look at the in the Norse mythology of the nine realms, the nine worlds. One of them is, uh, says home of the light elves. Made me think of, like I was saying, a lot of DMT and ayahuasca trips. They're seeing machine elves. Interesting thing with that as well, the way they have in Norse, the realms are set up where Midgard is, which is earth in the middle, the middle plane. Earth, the heart chakra, in the middle, it's a glow ball, or, you know, a realm that's glowing, which they're portraying the moon, and then on the other side of us, it's a realm, home of the fire giants and demons, that's the sun, so, just what I'm getting out of that, based on the Norse mythology, they're including the moon and the sun as realms. Interesting, to say the least. The Nordic realms, Asgard is the top. It says home of Acer, A-E-S-I-R. But the way they write that, the A and the E is connected. And that's referring to the, the gods, the highest level beings that live there and so I was also thought that's interesting on how Elon names his kid with that A-E in the beginning of it and also connects it in the same way look at the bottom realm there you've heard that name before Nephilim it's usually regarded with Anunnaki in the Norse mythology here you see the lowest level realm Nephilim and you can see where because Norse and then the Germans you can see where the Heim comes into play. One, two, three, four, five, six of these nine realms have Heim at the end. Oppenheimer. Alzheimer.
I don't know. I guess I just think it's funny how they were exploring the seas back in the day. And then all of a sudden, they stopped and decided we're going up instead. 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by ocean and we know less about it than we do the surface of the moon. Every day our food brings in some new form of life or plant like that to be studied and classified. Forms of life in the sea are endless. You're really serious about this, ocean. Serious problem. There's enough food in the ocean to supply the world's population forever. There's enough food in the ocean to supply the world's population forever. The sea is a perpetual food factory. And the specimen is under the microscope. That's right over us. Must be 50 feet in diameter. What do you mean? Those deep trenches, they make a pretty good place to hide. You're inferring that they or it prefers to remain unknown? Yeah, something like that, Doc. Today, new dangers face mankind. Dangers which challenge his life, threaten his very existence. Sound frequencies have been found that can penetrate the human brain and destroy life. Tired of being lied upon, they gave you your truth Get up off your horse, you ride upon, I ride alone It's a lonely road, the lies got me using sacred geometry Deciphering codes, lights through the TV penetrating your souls Better be aware, or be trapped in the square Which is using all these symbols, trapping energy here I'm capping them, spinning them around, Pac-Man, I'm trapping them my rhymes are gritty, rip through your city like a blazer Emitting light like a laser, you worship agents Collectively the world's starting to wake The ones that run it shaped like a boot, it's starting to shake Dressed like Quakers, hidden hands standing beside them Make sure the plans are success, keep the people distressed Confused and divided, they know them headlines Putting stress lines in your head, words are energy So when you laugh, why do you say I'm dead? Think about it, ask the question, class no longer in session they got the whole world asleep, all men turn to sheep Splicing genetics, we mice to these medics They can't see me in the G's kinetic Shake them one by one till they awake They got the whole world asleep, all men turn to sheep Splicing genetics, we mice to these medics They can't see me in the G's kinetic One by one shaking them till they all awaken